our natural environment is struggling right now. And there's also no denying that our economy is not in great shape. Making it legal to grow industrial hemp in the United States, also known as cannabis sativa, is a step to righting both of these problems. I'm going to talk to you today about what industrial hemp is and how it is different from marijuana. I'm going to talk to you about the environmental benefits of using industrial hemp. And then I'll conclude by talking about the economic benefits of growing industrial hemp in the United States. So to start, what is industrial hemp? Well, it's a species of plant known as cannabis sativa. You may have heard of cannabis sativa because it is also the species that marijuana comes from. However, cannabis sativa subspecies sativa is industrial hemp, whereas cannabis sativa subspecies indica is the marijuana that you've heard of before. The main difference is the THC levels. THC, or delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, which yes, I did practice saying a lot of times before coming today, is the chemical in marijuana that gets you high. The THC levels, according to the United States Department of Agriculture, in marijuana ranges from 5 to 20%. However, in industrial hemp, it is always below 1%, usually around 0.3%. You cannot get high from smoking or inhaling or digesting industrial hemp in any way. You also grow industrial hemp and marijuana differently. You can utilize the stalk lengths of industrial hemp by growing it very closely together. Yet marijuana, you have to grow farther apart to utilize the leaf length. Now that we know a little bit about it, I want to talk to you about some of the natural environment benefits of growing and using industrial hemp. First, you can make paper from hemp. Why is this important? Well, deforestation is an issue currently. Half the trees we cut down are used to make paper. If we use hemp instead of using wood for paper, think of all the trees we can save. One acre of industrial hemp is equivalent to four acres of trees. A one to four ratio. For every acre of hemp we use, we can save four entire acres of trees. <coughs> also, you can recycle industrial hemp seven times over, Well, you can only recycle paper made from wood three times. Not only can you grow more of it in a smaller space, but you can recycle it more as well. Next. You can use hemp to make clothing. Why is this important? Well, cotton, which is currently one of our most common clothing items, materials to grow from clothing, is not very good for our environment. First of all, industrial hemp is stronger and more durable than cotton. But more importantly than that, cotton, for the 3% of arable earth that it uses, <coughs> according to the North American Industrial Hemp Council, uses 26% of the world's pesticides. While it's only grown 3% of the world, it uses 26% of the pesticides. That is alarming to me. Whereas industrial hemp, with little known insect predators and no weed competition, uses very little to no insecticides whatsoever. That reduction alone would very well reverse acid rain completely. Next, you can use hemp as a fuel source because it is a biomass. It can be converted to methane or methanol or gasoline. And we wouldn't have to burn fossil fuels for, for, uh, to fuel our cars and our trucks and whatnot. And we wouldn't have to use fossil fuels to produce energy. This alone would start to reverse the process of the greenhouse effect, acid rain, or smog. Just because we don't use hemp as a fuel source, we have these problems. Now that we have somewhat of an understanding of the natural environment benefits, I want to talk to you about the economic benefits of industrial hemp. Here you see a chart of the exports of cannabis uh, industrial hemp, which is a country that grows <coughs> industrial hemp. We import 56% of their hemp. And according to the Redale Report, which is an organization which focuses on organi organic solutions to our problems, we, use, we spend $20 billion every year importing hemp. $20 billion. Just think about $20 billion that we're spending instead of funneling back into our own economy. Also, as you can see, United Kingdom, Japan, Ireland, just three of the countries that import hemp themselves. If we, not only, um, if we grow, grew industrial hemp, not only would that be $20 billion every year that's falling back into our own economy, but we'd have a market to sell it to other countries. Now that I've talked to you about what industrial hemp is and how it is different from marijuana, the environmental benefits, environmental benefits of industrial hemp and how it would be good for our economy to grow it in our country, I hope that you can see that 
growing industrial hemp in the United States will provide for a richer and healthier economy and natural environment. Thank you.